In this video, we will discuss pointers, constants and type aliases. So in the previous lecture, we have studied about type aliases. We have seen what they are used for. And also in former lectures, we have talked about pointers. We have seen the const keyword and what it is used for. Now in this lecture, we will see a combination of all these. Now declarations that use type aliases that represent compound types and const can yield surprising results. Now we have talked about type aliases and also in previous lectures we have talked about compound types and constants as I already said. Now when we use declarations that use type aliases that represent compound types and constants, these can yield surprising results. So let's see what we are talking about here. So here for example, I have a few declarations that I have written down and also besides each declaration, there is the comment for each of them. So I would suggest you to just pause and take a look at these four declarations that are given here and try to understand what they mean, read their comments as well. And for the last one here, I have not written down the comment. So you can just think about it, what this actually means. Alright, so I assume you had a look at these declarations. Now let me break them down one by one for you and let's try to understand together what they mean. So first of all, the first declaration that we had is using the type def keyword which we discussed in the previous lecture which is actually a type alias. So it says type def char star p string. Now what does this mean? We already said that type def is actually used to create a synonym for a particular type. So here we say char asterisk. That means this p string is going to be a synonym for char star or char asterisk. So that is what this particular declaration mean. Now next we have const p string c star equal to zero. So here as you can see, we are declaring something called CSTR. This is actually a constant pointer to a character. This is a constant pointer to a character. So here we don't see the word character or pointer written. But why do I say it? That is because we are using P string here. And what is P string? P string is actually a synonym for char star. Alright, so this declaration actually means that CSTR is a constant pointer to a character. Now I am repeating this again because it is very important to emphasize this. CSTR itself is a constant pointer. Okay, remember the term constant pointer and what is it pointing to? It is pointing to a character. So that is what this one actually means. Now next we have this which says const p string asterisk ps. Now what does this actually mean now? We see an asterisk coming here and we also have our p string here which is a synonym for char asterisk. Now this asterisk or star over here signifies that ps itself is a pointer. And what is it pointing to? It is also pointing to a constant pointer and that pointer also points to a character. Okay, let me repeat it. It may sound a little confusing but just listen to it again or take a look at it again. It will become clear. Okay, let me repeat it for you once again. Here, this PS itself is a pointer and what does it point to? It points to a constant pointer. And what does this constant pointer point to? This constant pointer points to a character. So that is what this declaration over here mean. Okay, now let's come to the last one that was there in the list and that is const char asterisk CSTR equal to zero. So here we are not making use of the p string which was our type alias but here this is a direct declaration and here as we can see this CSTR is a pointer to a constant character. Now this asterisk over here is signifying that this CSTR is a pointer and what is this pointer CSTR pointing to? It is pointing to a constant character over here. Okay, so we already studied about const keyword and we said that when const appears with the base type, it actually modifies the base type. Okay, now keep all those things in mind as we are discussing about these declarations over here. Now, is this declaration actually correct? Because we already had made use of this CSTR over here and here it meant something different. Here, this CSTR actually was a constant pointer. This was a constant pointer and it was pointing to a character. But here it is a 
pointer to a constant character. So CSTR itself is not a constant pointer here, but it is pointing to a constant character. So there is something wrong with this declaration. Why? Because since we already had declared CSTR to be a constant pointer to a character, we cannot redeclare it again here because we are making use of constants. So this particular declaration cannot be made because these two are having a mismatch. Okay, so let's break it down further. Okay, so since we already made this declaration, as I said, this is not possible. Why? Because if you take a look at this, the base type is character and then the asterisk is a part of the declarator in this case. Now, what is declarator? CSTR is a declarator and this asterisk is a part of the declarator and that is what tells us that CSTR itself is a pointer and then it is pointing to the constant character. So const character is a base type and this declares that CSTR as a pointer to a constant character rather than as a constant pointer to a character. So in this declaration here, it was a constant pointer to a character and hence we cannot change it like this saying that it is a pointer to a constant character. So I hope you understood what is the mismatch and why this kind of declaration cannot be made again once we made use of this type alias over here. Okay, let's go ahead and compile this in our Visual Studio code and let's see what the compiler is going to tell us. Okay, so here I am on Visual Studio code and I have written down that same four declarations over here and then the name of my file is alias3.cpp. Now let me run this code over here. I have just moved the terminal to the right hand side for better visibility. Now let's run the code and as you can see, there is an error. Where is the error? The error is at line 8. Where is line 8? This is line 8. And this was the one causing the problem. And what is the error? It says conflicting declaration. Okay. It says conflicting declaration because at line number six, which is here, we already made a declaration using this type alias p string. And there, what it actually meant was it is a constant pointer to a character. All right. So the compiler itself is telling us that the previous declaration was like this. So let's read it from right to left like this for a better understanding. So it says here, CSTR is a constant pointer to a character. But what did we declare here again in line 8? Here we are saying that CSTR is a pointer that points to a constant character. So that is the mismatch that we had and because of this, it is a conflicting declaration and hence it is an error. Okay, so that is what it means and so as I said, this last declaration over here is a wrong interpretation of the const p string CSTR. So here as we can see, when we combine type aliases with compound types and constants, they can yield surprising results. So when you just look at it for the first go, you may think that this is correct. But once we made a declaration like this, making another declaration like this again, it conflicts and it throws errors. So we should be very careful when we make use of type aliases and when we are dealing with such compound types and constants. So I hope this lecture was clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.